Okay guys, and for lab time we're going to be doing oxidation reduction chemistry, which means that you need to know um, what, obviously we've already covered oxidation and reduction reactions, but you need to know which ones are more reactive and which ones are more stable in order to know if a reaction is going to be spontaneous. So, if we have a reaction such as this one, um, and we are trying to figure out whether it's spontaneous, we can look down here in order to find out which one is more reactive and more stable. So, since the aluminum is on the on further to the left on the more reactive side, and silver is further to the right on the more stable side, we know that it's going to that aluminum is going to react to form the more stable silver, and so we know that this reaction is therefore spontaneous.